A wrap and turn is an integral part of the technique called short rows. And what a short row is, is a way to create a shape in your garment that is sort of 3D. Um, it's a little bit more unusual than your normal shaping. So a short row is when you don't get all the way to the end of the row before you turn around and go back. Normally when you're knitting you go all the way to the end and then you turn around. A short row you go part way to the end and you turn around. And when we go part way you need to do something so that the stitches don't make a gap like that where, where you've gone the other direction. So I'm just going to show you a couple of tips. I'm going to show you wrap and turn and then I'll show you what happens when we do some different kinds of short rows. So I'm going to go ahead and knit up until two stitches before the end of this piece. And I love to slip the first stitch so that it doesn't get all loose. You don't have to do that. So let's just go ahead and knit up to two stitches before the end. And I'm going to show you this on the purl side as well. Um, if you're knitting American style, just use your right hand to make these knit stitches. It's exactly the same. All right, so it's time for us to do our wrap and turn. Let's say our pattern tells us to go to two stitches before the end and wrap and turn, or W and T. What we do is we first, slipping this stitch right here from tip to tip like that, like purl wise, we're just going to slip this stitch onto the right needle. Now, move your yarn to the other side of your work. In this case, we're going to move it from back to front. Just like that. Whoops. Like that. Last step, we put the stitch back on the left hand needle. Well, that was almost the last step. Here's the last step is turn. So that was the wrap. This is the turn. And you can see that we've used our yarn to sort of secure these two stitches together even though we turned around right here. So what does it look like when we need to wrap and turn on the purl side? Let's go and find out. We use the same sequence. So now I'm just going to purl over to the last two stitches. Okay, so there were four steps that we did. The first one is slip the stitch from the left needle to the right needle, like that. Next, move your yarn from the opposite side. So, let's see. Oh, it shouldn't have been in the back. I was purling. Okay, it needs to stay in the front. All right, slip the stitch, move the yarn to the opposite side, just like that. Put the stitch back and turn your work around. Now, since we're knitting, we need to move our yarn back to the back so that we can knit. So there's our there's our wrap. You can see, there we go. You can see that it's securing this stitch to this one right here. Let's try it one more time. We are now going to knit to four stitches from the end of this little sample, and that's usually how short rows work. They will they will not ever tell you to knit back to this spot again because otherwise you're going to have this this funny little stack of of stitches right here so we're going to go to here and then turn around and this is usually how people turn the heels of socks and they make this little cup in the heel okay so it's time for us to wrap and turn again first step slip the stitch from the left needle to the right needle move the yarn to the other side of your work so from back to front in this case put the stitch back like that now turn your work around. It's really that simple. There we go. Let's go again on the purl side. Now I'm, I need to move my yarn to the front because I'm purling, okay? And so will you if you're purling. Okay. And you can see these rows are going to go faster and faster as we have fewer and fewer stitches to knit, which is always fun. It's a nice thing about short rows. Okay, wrap and turn. Yarn stays in the front for now. Transfer that stitch. Move your yarn to the other side, transfer it back, and turn around. And I have to move my yarn to the back because I'm knitting. So basically what we've just done is we've knitted about four more rows here in the middle than are on either side. You can see how the knitting is shorter over here than it is right here. That's because we kept on knitting. We knitted and turned and knitted and turned like that. So it's taller right there. So let's just picture this for a And you can see it's starting to get like a little cup there. If we were to keep going, well, there's not much farther to go, but we would have more and more of a little a little dome. So if you can imagine, if you just do short rows on one side, like if you knit to here, and then turn, and then to here, and then turn, and to here, and then turn, you're going to have, it's going to grow like this, right? Your knitting is going to get taller and taller on this side, and it's not really going to grow over on this side. Same with the other way. If you do it on both sides like we did, it's going to grow in the middle and make like a hump shape. 
So the last thing that we have to do when we're done with the short rows, we want to continue to knit back and forth across the whole thing, is pick up and get rid of these little wraps. And that's optional. Um, I like to do. I think it looks good. So let's knit over to the first wrap. Don't worry, you're not going to miss it. It's wrapped around your needle. There it is. Okay. What we're going to want to do is get this wrap onto the needle and then knit it together with that stitch so that it disappears. And this is how I like to do that. Just put this on that needle and then go down and get this one as well, like that. Now put them both on the left needle. Let them sort of straighten out. They're crossed right now. There we go. Now, there's the wrap. There's the regular stitch. Do a knit two together. And the wrap is disguised. And now it's pretty obvious. You can see that um, there's more rows over here than there are here, which is why this gets stretched a tiny bit. So let's do it one more time. Knit over to the wrap. There it is. Put the stitch on the right needle and then also use the right needle to get the wrap. Put them both on the left needle. There we go. Let it straighten out and knit those two together. And the same thing applies on the purl side. All right, so we are back to knitting flat again, just back and forth. Let's see how that, we should have a little funny shape if we did it right. See how it's nice and domed right there? Just like a heel.